What's going on guys, this is Jake, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can run giveaways on your Shopify store. So we're gonna be using an app, and it's going to look like this on your storefront here. So there's going to be a widget down here at the bottom, and if we open it up, we can see here that right now, there is a giveaway running for a free product, which in this case, on this demo store here, is the skincare bundle. And there's actually three different ways that we can set up the giveaways for people to be able to enter. In this case, we have it set up based on order amount. So right now, every $10 somebody spends on this store, they will get one entry into this giveaway. And we can see that the prize right here is this product. Now there's a lot of different options we can set up. We can set up different types of prizes. We can grant entry to giveaways by assigning tickets to specific products. And we can also grant entry based on customers just inputting their email address if you want to have a free giveaway so in order to set this up we're going to be using an app called pine raffle here so you can get to this app by searching pine raffle in the app store or by clicking the first link in the description and then once you install it on your store i'm going to show you how we can go ahead and set this up so if we come over here to the store and we open up the app we can see that this is what the app's going to look like here on the home screen. And it's pretty easy to use. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is head over to raffle creation here. And this is where we can set up a raffle or giveaway. We can see we have an active one right now, which is this one. So we can't run more than one at a time, but I'm gonna walk you through the creator here anyway to show you how it works. So first off, we can give this a name, and this is going to be for your purposes only, so it doesn't matter what you name it. And then we have the prize name, so this is going to be what the participants are entering to win. So this can be whatever your prize is. If you scroll down here, you can see there's multiple different prize types that you can use. So you can give away a percentage discount code. You can give away a fixed amount discount. You can give away a free shipping discount. You can give away a free product, which is what we're doing here in this case. You can give away a gift card or you can give away a completely custom prize of your choosing. So you would just put that prize name in right here and then we can choose when the giveaway is going to actually end. So we can have it end on a specific date so we can make it run for a specific amount of time. So right now by default this would mean that this giveaway would run for a week and then it would end. Or you can choose to end the giveaway based on the number of tickets that are issued. So on this live one here, we can see that this raffle ends after the first 1,000 participants. So after 1,000 entries are issued, then the giveaway will automatically end. So you can choose whether you wanna end it by date or by ticket count right here. And then we have the raffle type. So this is going to be how participants can actually enter the giveaway. So we can see here that we're, we're running an order value one right here with price breaks enabled. So if we wanted to duplicate this setting, we can see here that every $10 spent will grant one ticket and that's what we have right here. Another type you can run is product based. So in this case, you could choose different products. So let's say we wanted to choose these eligible products right here in our store. So we can choose like these two shirts. So anytime someone buys one of these products, they will get an entry. But let's say we want one of these products to be more valuable than the other. We can actually customize the ticket values on these products. So if I were to turn this on here, we could make this first product worth one entry and then this next product say worth two entries. So every time someone buys this product, they get two entries. And if they were to buy this product, they would get one. So you can completely customize the ticket values to your liking. And if you want to actually sell tickets directly or something like that, what you can do is you can just create a ticket product and then choose that as the product right here. And the last type of giveaway we have here is emails. So this is just going to allow customers to join by entering their name and email address. And that will show up here in the pop up, which I will demonstrate here for you in a couple of minutes. And then after that, you can come down here and choose the prize type as we discussed earlier. And changing the prize type here will let you choose the information about the prize down here. So you can choose how many people can actually win this giveaway. And then based on the prize type here, you'll be able to choose it. So if you choose like a product, for example, you'll be able to choose which free product they're gonna win. Or if you wanna choose, say, a gift card, add a gift card product here and then select it. Or you can choose a custom prize and just add a description here of the custom prize and let the customer know what it is they're going to win. 
But just keep in mind that when you are using a custom prize, you're gonna have to send the prize to them on your own and you can upload an image of the custom prize here as well. So that's how you can create these giveaways. So after you create it, you'll be brought to the status page right here where you can see that the raffle has been created. And then there's a couple things we need to do. So the first thing we need to do is activate the storefront widget, which is what this is right here. So that way customers know how to enter the giveaway. Now you don't have to use this if you don't want, but this is how your, but this is the primary way of letting customers know how to join. So in order to activate that, you can click this button right here, or you can manually get there by going to your theme customizer, open it up, customize, coming down here to app embeds, and then clicking on the Pine Raffle main widget right here, making sure it's enabled and clicking save once it's enabled. And then if you open this up, you'll actually be able to edit all of this information in here. Now, based on the information that you input when you actually create the giveaway, this is going to auto populate with text and the prize, etc. But you can come in here and edit this to customize it to your liking. So we can see here we have the button title. You can upload a cover image here. You can adjust the type. We have the prize name message, which is right here. We have the prize explanation. You can edit your colors right here to match your branding, which is something I would definitely recommend you do. And then we have three different sections here. So we can see we have the order value text, the product text, and the email text. So what this essentially means is these different sections are going to allow you to edit the sections on here. And they are going to vary based on the type of giveaway you're running. So if you're running an order value one, you can see that these fields correlate with what's showing up right here. But if you were running a product based one, you can see that the placeholder text is going to be different for each one and same for email. So this is where we can edit everything on the widget. You can change the text color of the text down here from white or dark, which is going to depend on what color you chose as the background here. And then once you've made all your customizations to the widget, just make sure you click on save. The next thing we can take a look at here is emails. You can see here it's going to direct us to configure emails, which is going to take us to the notifications page right here. And you can see that by default, we can send emails to your customers for you. And we'll just collapse these short codes right here. And we can see that there's going to be two emails that are sent out. There is the participation email and the winning email. So the participation email is going to be sent to anyone that gets an entry into the raffle, they'll be sent in this email template here. And then the winners of the giveaway will be sent this email template here. Now you can go in here and edit these templates by using these parameters. And you can see we have a few different templates that will auto apply depending on what type of giveaway you created. You can see we have templates on both of them, but you can obviously come in here and customize them to your liking. Or if you'd like to integrate with Clavio here, so you can send the emails from your Clavio account, you can do that as well. So now if we take a look at what this would actually look like, so I'm gonna jump over here to the live store and I'm gonna place an order. So we're gonna add some of these to cart. So I'm gonna add 10 of these to cart here, so 143. So based on the rules of this giveaway, this is going to give us 14 entries. And you can see that for order value based, this status bar will update when the order qualifies. So we're gonna go ahead and check out really quick. So we place this order and if we come back over here to the app now and we refresh the page here, we'll see that we now have one participant and 14 tickets issued. And at any time you can view your participants by clicking on this button right here. And we see that it's going to bring up the participants right here. So we'll be able to see their name, email, and their tickets. And then you can come in here and extract these users if you want. So if you want to add these emails to your email list, you can extract them here and then import them into your email list. You can manually add participants here if you need to, and you can also remove participants manually here as well if you want. And then lastly, once the giveaway has come to its conclusion based on tickets or end date, you'll have to come in here to choose the winner. In this case, we're going to choose it early just so I can show you what the process looks like. So we're going to end this early by clicking this button right here. And then this is what it will look like when the giveaway is over. And then you can come in here and click on choose a winner and you can choose whether you want to choose them automatically or manually. Most of the time you're just going to choose it automatically. And then once you choose the winner, the winning emails that are in the notification section are going to be sent to the winners of the giveaway 
automatically. So if we click on and to the winner be chosen, and then you can see that in this case, they got a 100% discount code to the product. And if we come back to the store, once the giveaway is over, the widget is automatically going to hide until you create a new one. So that's how you can create giveaways in Shopify using the Pine Raffle app. Pretty simple and straightforward to use, and it's pretty flexible with a lot of different options as well for how customers can actually enter in these giveaways. So with that said, if you found this video helpful, be sure to leave it a thumbs up. Check out Pine Raffle by clicking the first link in the description down below. Subscribe to this channel for more videos, and I'll see you guys in another one.